Hello everyone, I'm back with another Pokemon Nuzlocke here to talk to you about Scooby-Doo. So, like I was saying before, you can't trust anyone. Scooby-Doo teaches you one thing. You can't trust, one, landowners, two, failing business owners. Because the failing business owners are the first ones to uh, immediately put on a costume and try and commit some kind of fucking crime, which is true to real life. A lot of people don't know this, but... Um, Enron, when it was going down, someone attempted to dress up as a spooky pirate and <laughs> get uh, get the building recognized as like a haunted place, and that way they could go into bankruptcy and all their charges would be forgiven. Because that's how it worked in Scooby-Doo, is that if you were some kind of person with some kind of land, if you could convince everyone that it was haunted and or your key... Actually, you know, the other thing that people try to do in um, Scooby-Doo was keep people away from, like, gold and shit. Like, um, which I, you know... Well, to be fair, I know exactly why they didn't take the gold in Scooby-Doo. It's because they're a bunch of freaking beatniks, first of all. They're supposed to represent free money. I'm gonna go back to heal now while I continue talking about Scooby-Doo. You got Shaggy, who's obviously a representation of every single weed smoker out there in the world. Shaggy don't have money. Shaggy don't even have five cents. The only reason he would ever have money is because he needs to pay some man for the 27 hot dogs he shoved down his mouth. And without that person to tell him, like, hey, Mr. Rogers, you're going to have to pay. You bet your ass Shaggy would run away. He wouldn't pay that bill because he's too much of a hippie to not pay that bill. Who's the one who paying his bills? Fred Rogers. Think about it. He's the one that doesn't fit into the actual group of Scooby-Doo. He's the one that looks like a cop when you look at the Scooby-Doo gang. If you were to tell me, like, oh, these guys hang out, I would tell you, like, well, obviously the only reason Fred's there is because he's trying to bang Daphne. And the reason Daphne's there is because... Actually, why is Daphne in? Actually, if you watch a pup named Scooby-Doo, I think they kind of explain. Even though it doesn't make sense. I think pup named Scooby-Doo did a lot to ruin uh, the Daphne character. Um, the only character that was really ruined in by a pup named Scooby-Doo. Because it, it focused on the fact that she was, uh, so money-hungry, I guess. Well, not that she was money-hungry. That's a imp impolite phrasing of the Daphne character. Um, she did obviously care about money, but it's more that she was rich. Which I feel like previously it was not ever stated that she was rich. She also felt like a, um, flower child in that group. The only one who felt like they had money was, again, Fred. And Fred is the only one in the group. I assume they allow him in the group and make him pretend to be the leader is because someone needs to pay the bills. Well, to be fair, Velma could also pay the bills. But Velma's smart. She knows that she shouldn't even have to use her money. She uses Fred's money. Um, oh, Magnemites. Yeah, uses Fred's money. Easily countercultures it. Countercultures all of it. Um... What was I talking about? Scooby-Doo. Okay, so... I, you can't remember any character from Flintstones. By this point on, if someone has answered <laughs> the previous episode with a comment saying, like, here's another character, um... Ten, pop, pop, all right. Let's get it done. By the way, this current state where I'm currently only thinking about Scooby-Doo is the most likely chance of a Pokemon dying <laughs> because I'm so hyper-focused on Scooby-Doo at the moment. All right, Mark, get on my face. Oh, hello, lady. Well, I'm not here to hit on you. I just want to figure out what's going on. Oh, okay. You got it. Damn slots. I already fought you, right? Yeah, I did. All right, I gotta fight this man now. Okay, so back to Scooby-Doo. It's also um, really telling that the Flintstones... Can you remember any of the spinoffs from the Flintstones? I can, but that's because I watched them a whole bunch as a kid. It's uh, the Flintstones meet um, the Jetsons, which makes sense. You have the um, out-of-touch cavemen who fucking... Doc, can you actually fight the Zubat now? Holy shit, can you? Wouldn't it be hilarious if I actually lose Doc in <laughs> this instant when I said, Oh, Doc, can you fight now? Yeah, you should be able to fight, dude. Ah, oh, don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. 
I swear to God, Doc, if you die from this. Thank you. God. Um... Yeah, the, so, other spin-offs from the Flintstones that you may or may not remember. Um, they, they, to be fair, that's not a spin-off. The thing they did with the Jetsons was more like a, uh, you can't fight that, my boy, so I'm gonna cut you a deal and let Kid Fisto save your ass. Um, another spin-off is when, like, Pebbles got older, and that was always really weird to me, because if you, have you ever looked up adult, um, Pebbles... She has a very, like, I feel like <laughs> that's an appropriate way to mention the way Pebbles looks. Um, basically, I knew she would eventually grow up to be attractive because, um, oh, he can learn Water Gun. Okay. Doesn't matter because I have Surf, but I get, get rid of freaking Bubble. Um, yay, Water Gun. Um, I knew she would grow up to be attractive just because, like... Um, this is also sound weird. And now that I mention it, I didn't know. The reason I would think so is that the animators would eventually draw her as attractive is because Wilma is attractive. But there was also the slight chance that, like, the Fred DNA would if, would fuck up, like, her face in some way or something. Nah. It turned out she got only the Wilma in the side of the tree. <laughs> so she got full on just, like all the good stuff of her DNA and none of the bad stuff, which obviously means that her kids are going to be, um, some uggos for sure when she has a man, when she has a, a son, assuming her and Bam Bam got it on, which I assume that's how it ends. So that was the thing is that, so there was the other Porygon, level 30. Okay. Go Dom? Porygon shouldn't know any, like, crazy-ass moves. Oh, shit. Okay, thank god. He's gonna die from this karate chop. Bet. Come on. Thank you. The, the Porygon was high enough level that I had to actually stop what I was talking about. But yeah, the, the one where um, Pebbles eventually married Bam Bam, and then at that point, like, what do you... Here's the thing. No one gives a shit about Pebbles and Bam Bam. Everyone understood that they would eventually grow up to be married because they're like... You came to rescue me? Yeah, sure, dude. Oh. <gasps> you bitch. Yes. I'm gonna kick your ass now, sir. Um. Mmm, this guy. I don't like the look of this guy. Oh, don't tell me you have only Pokemon that fucking explode. Oh, no. This is actually kind of bad. Because <laughs> Gitfisto needs healing. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna distract myself with... Oh, no! Okay, thank god. So is the attack move. I was thinking of... Mm, that's not good either, but... It's fine, I'll use Magnitude. Pop, pop! Um, no one gives a shit about Pebbles and Bam Bam. I dare you to find me a Pebbles and Bam Bam fan. They don't exist. They're, like, non-existent. You find a Barbie, Barney Rubble fan before you find a um, Pebbles and Bam Bam fan. They just don't exist. And you know why people love uh, Barney? Because, one, he's funny. Two, um, he makes more sense than Fred. And then also, he has a good laugh. Uh, and he's also less of a dick then, um... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Did you really hit me with a smoke screen? Is this really how we're gonna play this? Can you blow up, you piece of shit? Oh, I can use Dire Hit. That will increase my, uh, chance of hitting. Don't poison me again. Don't do that to me, bro. Okay. Oh, damn, it's critical rate, so it's not the same. Okay. Try to hit him with magnitude then. He's not using self-destruct, which is like, what? Why? Pop, pop! But all the Scooby gang you will find fans of, except for, of course, Scrappy-Doo. Now, I will concede the fact that Scrappy-Doo was a mistake. And he's bad. Uh, he is a, he is a plight on, um, Scooby-Doo as a whole. 
but that does not stop the fact that on some of my favorite Scooby stuff, um, it has Scrappy-Doo in it. And by some of my favorite stuff, I mean all the direct-DVD Scooby movies before, um, before Return of Zombie Island. People think that, like, oh, Return of Zombie Island was the start of it. Wrong. Before then, you had The Reluctant Werewolf. Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf, where uh, Shaggy is turned into a werewolf by Count Dracula to race in a race. Pop, pop. Um, and then the other one is the Ghoul School, where Shaggy and Scooby go to learn... Go to learn... Go to teach a bunch of female uh, monsters who are daughters of famous monsters. So you got, like, the daughter of Dracula, you got the daughter of Wolfman, you got the daughter of Frankenstein... Uh, pop pop you got all these daughters uh and then they're also fighting for some reason a cadet like a military dudes i don't understand why they were fighting the why their main camp rivals were not other boy monsters but it was actually like oh yeah we're fighting a bunch of like cadets and shit doesn't make any sense doesn't matter fun as hell movie um because you could get to see uh i think that also has dennis dennis miller no that's not dennis miller uh that lady, I can't remember her name. Phil Miller? Phil Miller. Sure, let's go with Phil Miller. Um, she's the lady with like the ha ha ha. She's the queen in um, Bugs Life. You should know who I'm talking about. Um, assuming that anyone is still here for this entire conversation I'm having. Um, fantastic. And then the other one is the Boo Brothers. Which Boo Brothers is perfectly good. Not as much as the other ones. The best thing about Boo Brothers is that for some reason that's where you learn Shaggy's not into sex because there's like a super hot southern lady who constantly wants to bang Shaggy throughout that entire movie. Uh, like she wants to some, do some straight up like Fate Stay Night shit with him. That's how deep that relationship she wants to go. Uh, completely defenseless. She's also super powerful. I want to say that woman might be the first time I realized uh, maybe I just really dig girls in cartoons who are super powerful. Because let me tell you, she was that. And she was also blonde. She had muscles. She was fantastic. But I think um, uh, Shaggy is some kind of weird man. He doesn't want to have sex with her. So and mainly because like her, her like country bumpkin-ass brother keeps shooting him. Which, you know, be, be fair, that's that sucks ass. But I really feel like you're, it's getting in the way of a relationship at that point. Like, you should be able to deal with... Also, she kicked his ass every single time he tried. So it's, if you can... Be with a woman who can stop a stop a man who is pointing a gun at you. I feel like that's perfect, right? Because now you have a lady who one gives a shit about you because she's willing to beat the crap out of a man with a gun for you, and two strong enough to stop a man with a gun. So really lifts the weight off your shoulder of ever having to worry about anything except for when you're not with her. You know what I'm saying? Um, we beat Team Rocket. <laughs> completely that was a 100% wash on team rocket side and it looks like legends is next so this is where i'm gonna end it um i hope that you were here for my scooby-doo cree i love scooby-doo there's no doubt in my mind that scooby-doo is the greatest thing hannah barbera ever made and i i think that i think i've made my case if you disagree with me tough shit i don't care <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> I care about your opinions, of course. So that's the end of today's episode. I hope you liked it. And then the next time we're going to actually see, I think, Fight Legends and save Professor Oak, I guess. So until next time, everyone, goodbye. And always remember, what's new Scooby-Doo? Well, I didn't even get into the fact that Scooby-Doo has a banger-ass opening. I'm done.